Let's go. Hi guys, Alonso. Hi guys, Alonso from Coles Boutique here, and I have this Martin DCX made in Mexico. These are really nice guitars. They're really uh, good uh, value for money, and they have a problem. The top tends to separate from the sides. This is a rich light back and sides and I'll show you exactly how to repair it. It's relatively easy. So what we need is cloth that's lightly moist. I have this wonderful clamps from Stuart McDonald's. Really great clamps for the job. Tight bond, our beloved, the most amazing glue and this utility knife which will help us out. On to the job. Okay, as you guys can see, they're not sitting really, really tight together, but it's okay, we can, we can repair this, it's no problem. Okay, let's start with the tight one. We, re we really don't need much glue because the part that's being repaired is very very small so we don't need to really put lots of glue in it everything as you can see, I have uh, took all the strings off. It will be much easier for me to repair. Okay, now we got the glue inside. Take my utility knife and spread the glue as far as I can, like so. Everything moves, but there's no concern. Okay, now we take our cloth and small cleanup for all the access glue we don't need. Like so. Start with the clamps. Now, there's a small gap here between the side and the back. So what I need is to start with this part. This will be easier. If I push this to its place, it will push all other places back to their places. So we'll start by repairing this part first. I'll use my fingernail to make everything flush. And tighten it a little bit, like so. This will hold everything in place. Okay, next. Go. And put on another clamp. And over here. Don't worry about the glue here on the side. It's very easy to clean up afterwards. It's very important that everything fits perfectly with no gaps. Like so. Now I'm putting my, my hand inside the guitar so I can push the sides in order to flush everything together, make it all flush and, and nice, like so, and tighten the clamp, perfect, next.
here we need a little push here from inside out just a little bit like so and we keep on going everything is really flush here no gaps whatsoever I don't need the clamps to be too tight, just to make sure that everything sits in place. Okay, I have this gap here. I don't like, I can feel it with my fingers. So I need to push. I'll use a clamp. So and I'll gently push the side to where I want it to be. See, I can actually move. Move everything using the clamp. Just push everything into place and put out another clamp. And another one. Again, push it back where I want it to be. As you can see some, uh, some glue spewed out. Probably I'm doing something right. Starting to be very happy with the result. Right. Just the last one. That's it. Now, I got some glue that squirted on the inside, probably. If I don't know if the camera can catch it. Can you see the glue inside? We need to clean this up. This sometimes happens. cleaner and that's it for now we'll let it sit for like 30 minutes to an hour and I'll show you how to clean everything up and uh, finish the job it's been well over an hour it's time to take clamps off And this is the result. Of course it needs a cleanup. We'll do this just right now. Using this spray. Need some cotton wool. And it cleans up relatively easily. And this looks absolutely wonderful. As you can see, it's almost invisible. It's very flush, clean and neat, as if nothing has ever happened. Now it's time to restrain the instrument. 
check that the setup is okay and we'll do it right now. Well, this is the end of uh, this show for today and it was a great success. It's a beautiful repair and I would like to thank Lola Marsh. Check them out. They're going on a huge tour right now and they're amazing. And this is their guitar. You're gonna see it live. And subscribe, like and share our videos. All the best guys.